There will be no sneaking up on the competition with the sneak attack solid. They'll know it's coming. Phil Cardinelli here to give you the scoop on our newest addition to the attack line, the sneak attack solid. The sneak attack solid is the perfect step up from the original sneak attack, offering more mid lane read and more total hook. The Microtech solid cover or MTS-1 is more aggressive than the cover used on the original sneak attack, making it more playable on wet dry house shots or flatter conditions. Our bowlers will be using two very different drill patterns, a strong layout and a short pin layout. So you can see the variance in the sneak attack solids performance. I'm sure you want to know what the oil pattern is. Easy, that's the pattern. Throwbot allows us to mimic any bowler in the world so we invented our own to best show off our products. Okay, it's time to meet our crew. Katie Carey is a low rev superstar and her number one hits are dazzling strikes. Mark Waldberg is our resident stroker. He's usually the lone survivor when competing on the lanes. Jose doesn't need any pharmaceutical assistance to string strikes and knock the pins out of the park. Keanu Revs is a beast, a super two-hander. Lady Carey is a low rev and low speed player, and the short pin sneak attack solid hooks about 21 boards with a hook power of 10 boards. That's the number of boards crossed from the break point. That's plenty of recovery for a player of this style. The stronger pin drilling hooks about three more boards and is two boards stronger down lane. The cover on a sneak attack solid, although finished with 500, 1500, and 3000 Sierra, it is still a bit too strong for Katie. A comparison of the original sneak attack to the sneak attack solid when thrown from the same spot shows about two boards of total hook difference, with the original going about a foot or two longer before it makes its move. For our stroker Mark Waldberg, the short pin sneak attack is very smooth with 24 boards of total hook and a hook power of 11 boards. Mark can use it when he wants to control the back ends and still get enough hook and plenty of continuation. Mark's strong pin drilling crosses an amazing 32 boards with a hook power of 14 boards from the break point. The pin up goes longer and covers more boards down lane. If you are a stroker like Mark, this is the ball for you. The comparison of the original with the solid shows about three boards difference in total hook. The solid reads sooner and has a more rounded back end motion. The sneak attack will offer you control with enough hook to make it very versatile and it's a special ball at our easy use price point. Jose Constrico is a power player. The short pin sneak attack solid shows an incredible 3.3 to 6.0 difference in entry angle the impact angle. Lots of continuation and plenty of control from this short pin drilling. The pin up or stronger drilling travels further down the lane before it makes its move. And this is ideal for opening up the lane. Check out the pin deck exit board. That's the 23rd board. Length and continuation. That's all because of the longer hook window. It's a combination of core, cover, and layout. Comparing the sneak attack solid to the original sneak attack, we see less overall hook. It's the difference between a strike and a two pin. The solid is simply a stronger version of a very popular motion. We all know Keanu Revs is a beast, but it looks like two handers are gonna love the solid sneak attack. It is controlled chaos. Look for the sneak attack solid at a pro shop near you. Your scores will go up and your opponents will go down. Join the Radical Revolution. Wow, that's sneaky. And wow, that's radical.